It is Monday, November 7th, 2022, the end of week 20, and it's time for a reality check. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. If you're new here, I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using Octavia's 5-in-1 program. As part of my weight loss transformation, I am choosing to live in the light and record weekly reality checks where I check in and let you know how I did as far as weight loss, as far as inches lost, and as far as some of the things that I'm actually going through emotionally, mentally during this process. Before I jump in and give you my statistics for this week, let me invite you to subscribe to this channel. Just hit that subscribe button. It lets me know that you are interested in supporting me on my weight loss journey, that you wanna check in now and then to see how I'm doing, and that you're interested in the content that I provide. I do make reality check videos every week. I also post usually two, sometimes three other videos throughout the week that might be uh, recipes, healthy recipes that are suitable for weight loss programs, especially Optavia, um, also keto, some Whole 30-ish Weight Watchers type things. Um, and I also post weight loss tips. I just recently did a Thanksgiving survival guide. I also uh, will post what I eat in a day videos and unboxing of my Optavia fuelings. So those are the kinds of things that I will post each week on YouTube. So as far as inches and weight loss goes, here is how I did this week. That's right, I lost another 2.4 pounds, almost two and a half pounds, and another half of an inch. So the inches are coming off very slowly. I've said this before, I really am keeping it right about half the number of inches as I have pounds, which is totally fine. I take some photos every week. I take a, a front side and back view photos. I take a face photo and I compare a lot of those side by side. I send them to my coach every week when I send her my inches and um, my weight loss records. Um, and so when I look at those pictures side by side, it can be encouraging. Uh, my The place that I see it the most is the back view, which is odd, but that's where I do see uh, the changes the most. It's been very exciting. Um, the weight has been coming off very steady. I am very close to goal number three, which is 75 pounds, which I hope to make by the 1st of January. So that's just another six or seven, maybe eight weeks away, something like that. Um, that's kind of where my goal is to try to hit um, 75 pounds lost, which would be halfway to my goal. Speaking of that goal, so let me talk to you a little bit about what I have been going through emotionally over the last week. I've thought a lot about um, Thanksgiving, the holiday season coming up. Uh, Thanksgiving happens to be my favorite holiday, uh, mostly because of the food. And I have to change the way that I deal with Thanksgiving this year. I posted my Thanksgiving survival guide, some of the things that I have um, considered as I'm planning ahead. I don't want to go into the day without thinking, without knowing exactly what I'm going to have, what I can have, setting myself up for success and not setting myself up for failure uh, by not providing what I know that I'm going to need. So that has kind of been playing around in my mind. And I've also been, as I'm closing in on the end of 2022, I've been thinking a lot about the goals that I have had for this program and how I've been feeling about those. And, you know, when I started the program, it was very exciting. You know, new things are always very exciting. And, you know, this is going to be so easy and I'm going to get to my goal and, um, you know, the weight's just going to fall off and, you know, this is wonderful. And yes, it is, it has been very easy. Um, I haven't had to work really hard at losing weight this time, which is so bizarre to me. Um, so it has been coming off very easily, but emotionally it is, I'm starting to think about, 
all right, I, I'm 20 weeks in, but I still have probably another 40 weeks to go. Um, I'm, you know, a third of the way there, but I still have two thirds to go. And it, it the, the end goal that felt so close the first week um, is starting to feel a little farther away. So um, that's just kind of emotionally what I've been dealing with. I'm not at all feeling like this is pointless and I'm giving up. That That is not at all um, a thought that crosses my mind. I am steadfast, that is my word. Um, I am steadfast, I am unmovable, I am not going to give up um, on this. I have come so far and I, so I just, I'm just not gonna give up. But just to be completely real, to be completely honest, um, it's hard. And it is, um, it can just be overwhelming at times to think about, yes, I may be a third of the way to my goal, but I still have two thirds left. I've met so many um, wonderful new friends through Facebook, through Instagram, through YouTube. Some of you guys are hilarious. You are so encouraging and sweet. And I look forward to seeing your comments, your posts, your uh, words of encouragement. And I, I can't tell you how much that actually means to me. I would not be where I am on this journey if it weren't for the community that I have started to build around me. And community is so, so, I didn't realize how important community was in this process until I started building a community. Um, you know, I posted those first reality checks and that first Facebook post where I really went into detail about how, you know, this is about me, it's not about you. I'm losing this weight for me, and it doesn't matter what you think, but in reality, it does matter. It matters to me that you are saying you're doing so great and way to go. And, you know, I love watching your progress. Those kinds of things are so helpful to me. If you are struggling with weight and that's something that interests you to try to take off some pounds, know how important it is to have community support, to have people surrounding you, even if it is just through social media, that want to be your encouragers, that want to be your supporters through this process. Let people support you. Reach out to me. I would love to be a supporter for you. It doesn't matter whether you uh, want to use Optavia as your method of weight loss or if you want to use something else. I just want to encourage you. I want to share with you um, my story and what I'm doing and how it works for me. And if it works for you, that's great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. But do know how important it is to have community around you as your support to encourage you. So I look forward to those posts. I look forward to those words of encouragement. Um, I look forward to those subscribers, those, those of you who are new subscribers, to comment, to let me know um, how it's going on your journey so that I can give you those words of encouragement as well. And until I see you next time, please keep living in the light.